We need political stability. We need peace in order to advance. Please engage. It's a great opportunity. The Asian region is fast becoming the driving force of the world economy. Asia is not a homogeneous continent. The conversations now are largely around equitable growth, inclusive growth. So if you look at the program itself, it has substance. We deal with geopolitics, agenda, inclusiveness, sustainability. It's a much more balanced way of dealing with a multi-stakeholder uh, society that we live in. I feel really proud that in this country, women can do um, what men can do. The Philippines is sixth in the gender equality ranking. It began by having a Philippine Development Women's Policy Program. This kind of policies made it easier for women to move up. So we can learn from each other in order to promote sustainable growth in Southeast Asian economy. Building a relationship with the private sector implies the opportunity to build a partnership on equal terms. It's really about how we can change the way that work is being done such that the Gen Y workforce no longer has to choose between doing good and making money. All of us, collectively, we have to have a finger on the pulse of the people, understand what they need, what is missing, and try and bridge that gap. Education of people is the key to drive the uh, second stage of economic growth in this area. We're really learning how to turn the classrooms around, let kids tell us how they learn, and make it much more individual instead of institutional. We're working with our private sector closely so that there is a better match between the skills we produce and the skills that industry needs. Chúng ta cần tạo thêm những động lực mới để lấy lại đà tăng trưởng nhanh Leaders came to this meeting with a view of the formation of an ASEAN economic community in 2015. How ASEAN can be the regional hub, how can this be a destination for other foreign investors coming in. We need to build a better ecosystem to promote entrepreneurship and innovation at the micro level. In Asian countries, if you focus on agriculture, we can develop a lot of agri-social enterprises or agribusinesses. We cannot also wish away climate change impact. Think about the term green growth. If Asian countries regard it as an opportunity rather than a threat, we will be able to achieve sustainable growth. This sharing together is so important for us uh, to progress. We all want to prosper, but prosperity has got to be inclusive. Prosperity has got to be sustainable.